If you've read our article on organ transplants, you've already encountered some sobering statistics. Uh, you know, for instance, that every day in the United States, 18 people waiting for organ donations die before they get the kidney, the liver, or the lung that would enable their life to continue. Unfortunately, at the same time, on the same day, another 106 people are added to this list. Now, the solution uh, and the problem would seem to be fundamentally tied to supply and demand. There simply aren't enough available organs for the people who need them. And unless something drastically changes, this situation is probably going to continue in the future. However, this is a good news episode because a Dr. Anthony Atala has an idea that might just revolutionize this field and this space in medicine printing organs. Seriously, the 3D printers are already around and they're used uh, to print prototypes for engineering firms or to print models of buildings for architects. And so the question is, what's stopping us from using these to print organs? Not just models of organs, mind you, but functioning organs based off the cells of the patients. We're closer than you think. They've already started working on this uh, by transforming some of the typical inorganic 3D printer technology. And you can see Dr. Atala talk about this in detail on a recent TED Talk. So why hasn't this happened yet? Well, first it's in the working stages, but secondly, there are a number of concerns that could prevent this from coming about. Um, first, the cost, how, how would we make this cost effective? There, there are business concerns. Uh, secondly, technological concerns, or, or technical concerns rather. How do we ensure that we can successfully transplant these? How do we know that they will function the way that a traditionally grown organ would function? And third, and perhaps most importantly, there are ethical concerns. Should we grow uh, organs? Should we grow kidneys. How close is that to growing a person in a lab? And the outcome of these debates will in large part shape the uh, future of organ transplants. For more on this and thousands of other topics, visit HowStuffWorks.com. And don't forget to check out our other podcasts free on iTunes.